The Marvel Cinematic Universe just keeps getting bigger. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most anticipated MCU movies and shows. For this list, we're looking at upcoming films and shows set within the Marvel Cinematic Universe, ranking them based on the hype surrounding them. Number 10. Blade. Release date to be determined. Talk to us again in a year or two and you can bet that this movie is going to be way higher on our list. For the time being, however, we simply don't have enough to go on. Marvel and Disney have managed to snag Mahershala Ali for the starring role of the vampiric vampire hunter, and that is reason enough for us to be excited. That's all they told you? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's a bit more complicated than that. The Academy Award winner is arguably one of the most talented and sought-after leading men in the industry right now. But there are still many question marks. Blade's darker tone and horror elements represent untested waters for the MCU. We're very curious to see how he'll fit into the universe they've constructed, but we're optimistic. What you should have known, my friend, is that no one is greater than the game. Number 9. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings Release date, February 12, 2021 Like with Blade, there's a whole lot that we don't know about Shang-Chi, but we've got a bit more to work with. Marvel's gone with less of an instantly recognizable star in Canadian actor Simu Liu, who's best known for his work in the series Kim's Convenience. Uh, well, I have to get dressed first, but uh, it's nice to meet you. The Legend of the Ten Rings will be the MCU's first Asian-led superhero film, and so far, the cast is shaping up quite nicely, with Aquafina and Tony Leung Chiwai along for the ride. The thing that's got us most excited about this film? The fact that the latter will be playing the Mandarin, the real Mandarin. For anyone who was disappointed in Ben Kingsley's fake out take on the character, this news is surely welcome. This is the Mandarin. I know, it's, it's, it's embarrassing. Number 8. What If? Release date to be determined 2021. It's official, the MCU is going animated. And honestly, we can't think of a series that's a more appropriate fit. What If is an adaptation of the long running Marvel comic book series of the same name that first debuted in the 70s. As the title suggests, it's a space for exploration, in which writers can imagine what might have happened to the Marvel Universe had certain major events played out differently. It looks like the series will be asking some interesting questions and exploring wild alternate realities, including, based on leaked artwork, the fan-favorite Marvel zombie storyline. Jeffrey Wright will give voice to The Watcher, an observer of the multiverse, and dozens of MCU actors will be returning to lend their voices. Number 7. The Eternals. Release date, November 6, 2020. We're not necessarily calling this Game of Thrones meets the MCU, but there are worse things that we could imagine. And with both Richard Madden, or Rob Stark, and Kit Harington, or Jon Snow on board as Icarus and Black Knight respectively, well, this film is shaping up to appeal to fans of both Game of Thrones and the MCU. Of course, they're not alone in carrying the film. Joined by the likes of Angelina Jolie, Kumail Nanjiani, Brian Tyree Henry, Salma Hayek, and Barry Keown. The film promises to expand the scope of the MCU like never before, going back to the beginning of time, with the titular cosmic alien race getting involved with early human history. So yeah, buckle up. Number 6. She-Hulk. Release date to be determined. Step aside, Bruce. You are no longer the only Hulk in the MCU. In the comics, Jennifer Walters is a lawyer and Dr. Banner's cousin. After Jennifer gets fatally shot by gangsters while in her cousin's company, Banner is left with no choice but to give her a transfusion of his irradiated blood. And thus, She-Hulk was born. Part of what makes She-Hulk so interesting is that she's usually managed to maintain her intelligence when hulking out, something we've only recently seen from the MCU. Details are very scarce on this series, so we only have the comics to go by. But She-Hulk's appeal is that, in addition to being strong and intelligent, she's rather sarcastic and known to break the fourth wall, not unlike Deadpool. Number 5. Loki. Release date, to be determined, 2021. In Avengers Infinity War, we lost this fan-favorite villain. Thankfully, in messing around with time in Avengers Endgame, we got him back. Or at least another version of him. Escaping with the Tesseract after the Battle of New York, this version of Loki never had the chance to undergo his redemptive arc across Ragnarok and Infinity War. This is a thoroughly villainous Loki, and really, we wouldn't have him any other way. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Loki will apparently follow the trickster god as he meddles with history. With Sex Education's Kate Heron tapped as director, it's sure to have a nice balance of comedy and drama. Consider us sold. It's probably for the best that we never see each other again. 
That's what you always wanted. Number 4. Black Widow. Release date, May 1st, 2020. It is long overdue, but hey, better late than never. Scarlett Johansson's Natasha Romanoff, also known as Black Widow, finally gets her very own solo outing. I tell my family I love them. You tell them yourself. The film apparently catches up with the former assassin after the events of Captain America Civil War, finally forced to face her mysterious past head on. With David Harbour on board as Russian super soldier Red Guardian, as well as both Florence Pugh and Rachel Weisz as other Black Widows, this is set to be an action-packed film that toes the line between superhero flick and full-blown spy thriller in the vein of the Bourne franchise. Furthermore, the film will include Taskmaster, a villain fans have long been hoping to see join the MCU. Number 3. Black Panther 2. Release date, May 6, 2022. 2022 feels like a long way off, but we will wait as long as it needs. Easily one of the strongest entries in the MCU to date, the first Black Panther gave us a Shakespearean tale with big stakes, plenty of emotion, and thrilling action. The show off. It also did an excellent job of fleshing out the world of Wakanda, rooting it in modern social and political concerns that reflect our own. It's about two billion people all over the world that looks like us but their lives are a lot harder. Wakanda has the tools to liberate them all. After such a strong outing, we can't wait to see what the sequel has in store. We have no idea where T'Challa and his people go next, but with Ryan Coogler returning as writer and director, we have every faith that it'll be another triumph. Just don't freeze when you see her. What are you talking about? I never freeze. Number 2. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness Release date, May 7, 2021 The MCU is at its best when it's pushing beyond the boundaries of conventional superhero films and putting its characters in different genres. Key examples include Captain America the Winter Soldier and Guardians of the Galaxy, which incorporated elements of spy thrillers and space operas respectively. Following this logic, the Doctor Strange sequel seems poised to be the MCU's most unique film to date. The Sorcerer Supreme's first solo outing took us on a reality-bending magical adventure. <laughs> that is hilarious. Now, returning director Scott Derrickson is promising the MCU's first film to venture into the horror genre, and with a Lovecraftian title like Multiverse of Madness, we probably expect some cosmic terror. Bonus, it apparently ties into WandaVision, set for a 2021 release. Personally, I actually find it really interesting how every film or show in the MCU is kind of a new genre, and how every character basically has their own sub-franchise. Because that means there's something for everyone. Well, when number one was announced at Comic-Con, it created a lot of buzz. Like, a lot. Any idea what it could be? Let's see these honorable mentions before we find out. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Thor Love and Thunder Release date, November 5th, 2021 The fourth Thor film is exciting for a number of reasons. Yes! First, it sees the return of Natalie Portman as Jane Foster, who felt underutilized in the past. More importantly, however, she's going to be wielding Mjolnir, becoming the female version of Thor, who fans have been dying to see since Foster took up the mantle in the comics. Perhaps most exciting, however, is that Taika Waititi is back in the director's chair. Joyous news after the success of Thor Ragnarok. Don't worry, Hemsworth fans, he's coming back too. Just don't call Jane Lady Thor. As YTT has clarified, she is Mighty Thor. Now all that remains to be seen is who shows up in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. <laughs> no, not necessary. Not, there shall be no knifing one another. Everybody knows <laughs> who's in charge. 
Me. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.